Anthropic just dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5, and it is an absolute beast, and it's available inside of VS Code. Today, I'm gonna to take it through my standard test, which is building out a full PRD from an idea, and then have it implement a landing page and build out a few more pages as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the app I like to build is a website that is to help pet owners find pet friendly locations. So I have this idea, I'm going to say based on this idea, I want to create a PRD or requirements document for this type of application. And this is really great because it's going to ground the model and help it give context and what to build out and what this application is going to be. So if I just gave it this initial prompt, it wouldn't have enough context really. So the first thing I really like to do is say, hey, what does a really good PRD look like in this case for this application? So I tell it to create a high level PRD for an MVP and don't use you know any technical jargon. So this one generated a really great draft. I really like that it has the version number, the date on it, has product vision, primary owners, business goals, success metrics in it. But the core thing are these features. So what do I want the application to do? So this is something that I would you know, specifically review, you know, have insight on. I might even use, you know, spec kit, for example, to actually do spec driven development here. But this is great because it has user stories and this is going to help navigate the model as I build out this application for what I want in it. So what I really like about these is that they specify not only what's in the application, but what also isn't in the application. So that's really important. So I also have this PRD sort of landing page prompt that I use over and over again that just tells it to make a modern style website, give it some images, you know, tell it to make responsive and light theme, dark theme. So I'm going to say run this prompt, I'm going to attach the PRD to it, and then I'm going to tell it to execute it and then go off and run the application. So this is the same exact prompt that I run over and over again in different models just to see how they create the PRDs, how they create the landing page, and how they are going to iterate on them as well. So now Claude Sonnet 4.5 is going to go off and it's going to start parsing the entire repo, understanding the code base. It's going to understand how to create this landing page and what I want from this prompt. And what's really nice, it'll create the to do. So I'm going to see everything it's going to create here from the home, the app CSS, the theme toggle, and the JavaScript interop as well. So now it's going to go off and it's going to go create this entire homepage for me and then hopefully launch the application as well. So let's see if it starts it up for me. Yeah, here it is. And yeah, this is a really stunning application. Uh, I love the little subtle animations, the hover effects like I asked it to do. Uh, I really picked out really, really nice uh, things. I don't know about the spinning numbers, but they're pretty good overall. This is a really professional looking website. I really love it. And it created pet spot. So I like that, that it updated the name, nice little uh, navigation and light theme and dark theme working perfect. A nice little pink, subtle highlights. I really, really like that. This is one of the best landing page, if not the best landing page that I've seen ever created for this specific prompt. Uh, I also like that it's going to open in simple browser. I love simple browser, so I can just run it right here and actually see it be mobile responsive. So that's super nice as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe keep all of these as it's sort of summarizing everything for us. And let's go ahead and review some of the pages that it gave us. So it created and it updated this, you know, home.razor. It updated the main Razor CSS here. Uh, everything's looking good here. Here's the index HTML. Uh, it added the JavaScript file inside of here. And let's see what else it did for us. Yeah, it updated that home page. Uh, with everything that we have and it even used all the images as well so that's really nice that it just kind of brought everything in okay let's do something a little bit more complex and i'm not going to give it a prompt let's go ahead and clear this out i'm going to say let's go ahead and create a new venues page and also a venues details page for it and create mock data for everything so this is a little bit more advanced because what i would like for it to do is not only create like the pages, but also create some sort of service, dependency injection a lot more when sort of building out this, in this case, a Blazor application. But I want it to be a little bit more modular. So let's see how it does here. So it's gonna go off, it's gonna create our uh, plan hopefully, like before, and sort of read all the different items that are inside the application. And let's see what it does as it works here for us. So it's created uh, six to-dos. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. 
you have venue, venue service, list, details, navigation, styling. That's looking really good. So we're going to let it cook uh, and just sort of create through everything for us here. And let's see what it comes up with. So it's created all of our CSS, our venue, our home pages, and it starts up our application. And yeah, so we come back here. It has our dark theme like I had before. Uh, and then, yeah, this is really nice. The venues goes right to it. We get these nice little hover animations. Uh, everything's looking really good as far as these cards. When I click on it, it goes to the top of the page, which I really like. It has all the amenities, pet policy, reviews, all the mock data. I didn't even tell it to do mock data for reviews or anything like that. It did on the context. Looks like here it goes back to the home, so it needs to update that navigation link. But this is really, really nice uh, overall. And of course, the light theme and dark theme working really nice as well in this application. So really, really spot on, I would say. And all the filters, I think, seem to work. Let's see if I can search for something. Yeah, perfect. Searches everything right there for me. I absolutely love that. So yeah, this is looking really, really good. I like that it even is showing paging inside of here. So that's awesome. Now, if we take a look at the code, it's generated a lot more files and it has generated a lot more code for me in this case, in this big, big prompt. So it's done the dependency injection, just like I wanted. It's created our razor, our services inside of here. And it's even uh, gone ahead and updated all of our, you know, app CSS for us uh, for these and then created those new pages. So really, really spot on and really stunning application that is created in, in just a few minutes, to be honest with you. I know I sped up the actual generation, not just waste time, uh, but start to finish, you know, what, 10 ish, 13 ish minutes or so. Super duper impressive for this caliber of application and styling, really professional and a great way to start out this application. All right, I am blown away by Sonnet 4.5. It is an absolute beast. I love all the models, but this one is really designing some absolutely stunning pages with really, really nice code. Give it a try today inside of VS Code and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.